In this screencast, I will demonstrate the basic usage of Python dictionaries. Python dictionaries are also known as HashMap, Associative Array, or Mapping in other programming languages. A Python dictionary essentially implements what is known as a hash table, that is a collection of key value pairs. You can think of it as an array, but instead of using indices, the dictionary will use keys to access the values. We can define a dictionary using curly braces in the beginning and then typing key value pairs one after the other. I type here key 1 and keys and values are separated using the colon character value 1 and key value pairs are separated using a comma. The second key value pair value 2. So my dictionary has two key value pairs so length of the dictionary is 2. I can access the dictionary's data using keys now. So I can simply say d at the position of key 1 and that would be value 1. I can add a new value saying d at position new is spam. And I can edit existing values simply by defining new values for them. key 1 equals x. Since I added a value, the length of the dictionary will now be 3, and I can print the whole dictionary and have these three value key value pairs here. Be aware though that there is no sort order in dictionaries, so there's no guarantee where this new will be added. It can be in between, it can be in the beginning, at the end, or anywhere else. Now we will iterate over dictionaries. To do so, we'll define a a contact dictionary, a contact record essentially, and I'll first clean my screen using the control L key combination. Contact oh come on. Contact is my contact has a telephone number and that would be Austria, City of Graz, Graz University and four access for any number there. And my contact has an email address, and the email address is say contact at uni grads.at. And my contact also has an office location, and that would be in my case a Resovi building, section E3. Now I can iterate over that contact. If I simply iterate, over a dictionary, say for key in contact, I will uh, get one key after the other. I do not get key value pairs, but only keys. To access the values, I hence have to access the values as normally in any dictionary. So first I access the key and print it out here. Then here I print two dashes, and now I access the value by saying contact at the position key. And this will print out the entire dictionary and we have no guarantee about the order here. So in this case it's just coincidentally that office is first, telephone is next and email is third. We can also be more explicit about uh, what we did above and say we want to iterate over dictionary.keys however I prefer simply iterating over the dictionary in itself because it's just, just the same. So I'm hitting enter and the result will be exactly the same. We can also iterate directly over the values. So I can say for value in contact dot values, and I only get one value after the other, but with this I cannot access the keys anymore, so I can simply print the values here. One other convenient way to iterate over dictionaries to iterate over key value pairs. That's, I think, uh, the easiest to read. We can use here what's known as multiple assignment from tuples. And I say iterate for key comma value in contact dot items. Contact dot items essentially returns an iterator of key value tuples. And now I can be a little bit more verbose and say print key comma and value 
which I think is easiest to read. This works well as well. <coughs> as well. Now if for some reason you really have to iterate over the keys in a sorted manner, you can still do this by using the sorted function. Say we can type for key in, now we use the sorted function which returns a sorted list. We say contact.keys, contact.keys will return an iterator of the keys and the sorted function will sort these keys and so we get one key after the other sorted alphabetically. Now I can do the same print statement as above and can do key comma and uh, contact at the position of the key and this will give the same output as above but sorted by keys. So I start by having email and then office and then telephone. That's it for the basics of Python dictionaries. Hang on and enjoy the rest of this tutorial series.